Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of The Noble Crumb. My name is Jason. So literally I'm just throwing this video together really really quick. I just was sitting here and had a real craving for something from my childhood. Um, and it's called a poor man's pudding. I don't know if any of you have had this before. Um, it's something that I used to have growing up at my nanny's house and it was just one of those things I think it just brings back a lot of the memories and stuff from being a kid. Um, it's really simple, really quick, so I thought why not throw together a quick video to show you what it is and how it's made. It's super delicious and can be made in no time. So here are the ingredients you're going to need for the poor man's pudding. All right, and here are the ingredients for the poor man's pudding. So you're going to need one cup of flour, three teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, a pinch of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, three tablespoons of butter, three quarters of a cup of raisins, and a half a cup of milk or buttermilk. Then for the sauce, you're gonna need one cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of flour, one and three quarters cups of boiling water, and we're gonna bake it at 375 for about 30 minutes. Okay, so to start with our poor man's pudding, I've just got my mixing bowl here. To that, we're gonna start with one cup of flour. One cup of flour. Then we're gonna add three teaspoons of sugar to it. Sugar here. One, two, and three. Then we're going to add in two teaspoons of baking powder. One, oops, two. And then we're gonna add in some salt. Literally, you just have to add a pinch of salt. So there's my pinch. Then we're gonna add in some cinnamon. So just a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So not too much at all, so there's that. And a little bit of nutmeg, so about an eighth of a teaspoon. Nutmeg is really, really potent, uh, so you don't need too much of it to make a big impact. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a quick little mix. All right, so now that's combined. So now we're gonna cut in our butter. So I'm just gonna grab my butter. All right, so I've got three tablespoons of butter that we're gonna cut in, so I'm just gonna get this into little pieces, start putting it in my flour. We're basically just kind of going to cut it in like we would with making a pastry. Let's put that in there. Now if you have a pastry cutter, please by all means go ahead and use it. I, weirdly enough, do not have one. So I've got my clean hands here and I'm literally just going to start breaking this up until it all is into small pieces and crumbly. This is how my nan does it, so this is how I do it, because anything she ever baked always seemed to turn out ridiculously amazing, so it doesn't take long. So you're just gonna kinda wipe the butter through your fingers All right, that's all broken up, nice and crumbly. All right, next up we're gonna add in our raisins. So I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of raisins, roughly. There's one, two, and three. I'm one of these people that absolutely love raisins. You can substitute this out for nuts if you like, or any other kind of dried fruit, whatever you like best. All right, 
So now that we've got that, now we're gonna add in our liquid. So I've got half a cup of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk at your disposal, you can use regular milk and even mix in a bit of yogurt, bit of sour cream, anything like that works just as well. And then you're just gonna mix this together. So you're probably thinking, oh my God, this is so thick. It is a thick batter, but you'll, you need it to be quite thick like this. So it's all just come together. Don't over mix it because you don't want the flour to go tough. All right. So it's all combined. Now I'm going to get my pan. I'm using just a rectangular nine by nine pan here. And I'm going to put in parchment paper. And then I'm gonna put in my dough, just like that. Now you can smush it out a bit. Again, it's not gonna be perfectly beautiful. It doesn't have to fill up the whole pan. It's not the point of this. This is a quick, simple dessert. Remember, this is a poor man's pudding. All right. That is that. And now we're gonna quickly make our sauce that gets poured over top of this. All right, for the sauce, I've got one and three quarters cup of boiling water here. To that, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter. That'll melt down. Now I've got one cup of brown sugar here. I'm using dark brown sugar, because for me it just has the best taste. And then to that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of flour. This is gonna help thicken the sauce. So we do that. We're just gonna mix the flour and brown sugar till it's combined. Just like that. That looks good. Now you're gonna pour this into your boiling water. Careful not to splash yourself, that would not be good. Or make a mess like apparently I do all the time. Mix this together. The butter will be melted. You want the sugar to be dissolved. And that is our sauce. I know it doesn't seem the most appetizing maybe at this point, but trust me, it's so delicious. I love it. Brings me back to my childhood. Okay, that mixes around. Now, you're literally gonna take your pan of dough and you're just gonna pour this over top of it. Beautiful. And now this is going into the oven, 375 for 30 minutes. Okay, so after 30 minutes, there is our pudding. Uh, so be careful with this, obviously, because you can see the bottom is all liquid, so you don't want to spill this anywhere. Let this cool down for about 15 to 30 minutes. The sauce is gonna get nice and thick and then you can serve this, but it is so delicious. Give this one a shot. All right, so this has been resting for about half an hour now. And you can see the sauce has gotten really nice and thick, nice caramel, it's awesome. Okay, so just scoop this out and spoon it up. All you do is literally just scoop it out, put it in a bowl and it is so soft and thick. Absolutely delicious. Just be careful, make sure you don't burn your mouth on it. But literally, that is it. Couldn't be simpler. Give this one a shot and let me know what you guys think. But Poor Man's Pudding, big hit with me. All right, and that's everything I have for you for this episode of The Noble Crumb. Thank you so much for joining me again. As always, please like, subscribe, comment. You guys are doing me the biggest favor by subscribing to my channel. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, and I'll see you next time here on The Noble Crumb. Bye.